the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, and honorary president of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized and attended the final games of the Ladies League, the Expatriates League, and the Clubs League under the slogan Generations Forum. In the ceremony, His Highness crowned the winners of the final games. This tournament comes within the initiatives of His Highness Sheikh Khalid that support the youth in the sports and humanitarian fields. And upon arrival, His Highness was received by the Minister of Youth and Sports, Hisham al Jodar, and the Under Secretary for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also attended the league's exhibition. He affirmed the success of the league, which contributed to enriching the sports movement in the kingdom and achieved the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa that aims to increase youth programs and activities. He added that this league also achieved the aspirations of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness also added that the league comes within the policies of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, led by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Association Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to organize programs and activities for the youth. He praised the efforts of the Minister of Youth and Sports, which aided the success of the league, as well as the efforts of the Supreme Organizing Committee. He noted that one of the features that the league is the participation of youth centers and national clubs that are not affiliated with the Bahrain Football Federation. He expressed keenness to include people with disabilities in the league, which stems from the keenness to increase the youth programs directed at them and their integration into Bahraini society and sports. His Highness added that the participation of communities in the league affirms Bahrain's support to communities. The ceremony began with the honoring of sponsors. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also crowned the SAR team for the National Clubs category, the Senate Youth Center for the Youth Center category, the Egyptian Community for the Communities category, the Ministry of Interior for the Ministries category, and the Olympics team for the People with Disabilities category.
The final days of the matches witnessed distinguished atmosphere as usual. A huge crowd of fans made their way to watch the final matches of the 6th Khalid Mohamed futsal tournament and the extinguishing of its flame to ensure further success of the tournament, which has been gaining popularity with every new addition both regionally and internationally. Well, first of all, I'm very thankful for His Highness uh, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al-Khalifa uh, for sponsoring and, and patronize, patronizing this, this, this tournament. Um, it brings everyone together in the summertime where you know, we think about what we want to do. Um, when we have something that we love, we love football, we love indoor football, uh, and His Highness is uh, uh, embracing us all in his tournament, uh, it really um, it ticks a lot of boxes. Uh, one that brings us all together, one that makes us uh, being active and athletic. The sixth edition of the tournament has surpassed the past years and has become a huge success not just in terms of the number of participants, but also because this year the tournament had an international flavor with the inclusion of the international communities teams and the participation of ministries. The organization was very, very good, um, like better than a, uh, all the years we have been participating, but this year was very special. More than 83 uh, teams and more than 1,500 players. This is really a very, very excellent sport event. And we're honored to be part of this one. And of course, we are very ha happy and glad that we took the first place. Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the 2018 tournament brought together more than 1,000 athletes from 80 teams from six different sectors under one roof. As it continues to be one of the pioneering programs, aimed at equipping and empowering thousands of Bahraini youth with experiences and opportunities. So first of all, I'd like to thank the Sheikh, of course, for presenting such a wonderful opportunity for girls to compete so competitively against really good teams. And it's really good to have this competition to improve our skills and to work with other teams. I'd like to say thank you to the coaches, my team for being amazing and being with us throughout the whole thing. And also all the people that came out to watch the games, the referees, everyone that put it together. It was amazing to take part in and it was a very good experience and I will never forget it. First thing, thanks for uh, Highness Sheikh uh, Khalid bin Hamad for making this tournament for all the girls and boys to, to make a challenge between them. And today we are the champion for the girls. We are waiting for uh, this moment about uh, one year. We are, uh, last year we was the second and today we are the first. An award ceremony took place to congratulate the winning teams and the best players who have shown endless potential and high level performances throughout the tournament. Appreciation awards were also presented to organizations that supported the competition which highlights the tournament's and kingdom's efforts in encouraging and enhancing both the sports and youth sectors. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.